Hi, this is Holly with Presence Point and I am excited, I guess I always say that, don't I, to be here with another Shepherd in Action video. So um, I'm here today with Karen and Karen and I met like 10 years ago and she is the CEO of a transit district in California. And the really cool thing, hopefully you can see we're in a bus because we want this to be real and it is. And um, I love part of Karen's story because she isn't just CEO of this district and that's her introduction to the transit industry. Karen began as a coach operator, but they probably called it a bus driver back then, right? They did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so I've gotten to know Karen over the last 10 years in her role as CEO in the community, uh, in ministry situations, and so I think she's perfect for this. So I'll ask the same three questions I always ask. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, number one, where do you shepherd? Well, I shepherd many places, mm -hmm. but primarily at work, because that's where I spend most of my waking hours. Yeah. And you um, lead how many people here? We have 350 employees, oh and then, of okay. course, we have thousands of riders. We have 20,000 riders every day, mm -hmm. and I get an opportunity mm -hmm. to interact with them, and a lot of them need shepherding. Yeah, absolutely. And do you ever go out and just ride? Yes, I do. Oh, very good. Cool. Uh, in okay. fact, we have a requirement that mm -hmm. all of our management team has to ride the bus at least four times a year. Oh, I love that. I'm going to go out somewhere with your HR gal. That'd be awesome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so next question is, how do you demonstrate provision, protection, and presence? Any or all of those three in your leadership, where it happens to be? Well, one that has been a little bit mm -hmm. difficult for me mm -hmm. to learn to exercise, but that I think is so important is presence. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm an introvert by nature, mm -hmm. and when my stress levels get high, I tend to withdraw. But what I have found is that employees really want to know you're there for them. They want to know that you know who they are. They want to know that you care about them. They want to know that you're looking out for their interest. And so when I get really stressed and tend to withdraw, I get up out of my office, go walk around, mm. talk to employees, find out what their issues are mm -hmm. of the day. And uh, it's amazing the things I find out that I need to be attending to that I don't know when I just yeah. spend my time in my office. Well, you know, I think it was probably Peter Drucker that talked about management by walking around or right. Ken Blanchard, right? Right. But to me, this is like leading into your discomfort because when we, when we want to withdraw, that's you're doing the opposite. So it's almost like the signal to you to do something different, which is pretty cool. Um, I should also say that here at this district, they've used the outside of the buses to give inspirational messages. There's parenting messages, which I think are really cool in the back bumper of the buses. So when you're driving along behind, you're just encouraged to be a great parent, which is also something a little extra on the side. So is there any kind of a piece that inspired you to do that? Well, actually, it was a new employee oh, okay. who got the request mm -hmm. and hadn't figured out yet that we had some sort of standards about what we put on the bus. <laughs> so she just said yes. And you know, sometimes yeah. life is like that. You mm -hmm. just need to be open yeah. to what comes along uh -huh. and say yes. Oh, that's cool. So what word of encouragement do you have to other shepherd leaders, whether they're a CEO, whether they're a bus operator, whether they're anywhere in between? I guess my word of encouragement is that we're all leaders somewhere. Um, whether it's in my relationship mm -hmm. with you, one of us is going to be more of a leader than the mm -hmm. other, or whether it's among many people. Mm -hmm. And uh, being a leader is really a gift. And being able to exercise those leadership qualities and being able to care for your flock is uh, a gift of grace. Yeah. that has been bestowed upon all of us and it's just up to us to determine to what degree we're going to exercise it. And, and they're sacred. The flock is sacred. The sheep are sacred and we forget that sometimes. Yes. And you're in an environment where you've got bargaining unit, you've got non-bargaining unit, you've got higher level management, you've got folks that are working out there cleaning a bus, I and mean, there's everything in between. So you're demonstrating that at all different levels. So yes. thank you. I love that. You're welcome. So now you know why I wanted to interview Karen. I'm so grateful she leaned into her discomfort and said yes, <laughs> right? I'm thrilled with that. So thank you. I hope this just inspired you a little bit today to be the person who goes where you're not comfortable, to love the sheep in your life. So may you lead well. May you live into your calling. And thanks so much for joining us.